Here we have the latest toy. It's a Flash Forge Dreamer NX 3D printer. It supports a single filament. I was originally going to buy another one, uh, Cubic, any Cubic, I think, yeah. <clears throat> but as I was doing more research, this one popped up and seemed more, seemed better because it's enclosed. It has a little bit smaller print volume, but I don't think that'll affect what I want to do with it, so. Let's open it up and we'll see what's inside. All right, here's everything that was in the box. I think it was very well packaged. You have the quick start guide, after, serv after sale service. You have a special piece of paper for leveling the bed. And I saw on um, one of the other webs, one of the other uh, YouTube videos. It's got a second print surface. It's got the top of the case. It's got the power cord, it's got an X-Acto knife, it's got some tweezers, it's got a spatula for popping off the builds, it's got two side shields, it comes with two rolls of uh, PLA, white and blue, blue is good since Go Bears, USB uh, cable, some tools to put it together with some grease, and a little knob and some other things, I'm not sure what those are for. So here's the printer itself. As you can see, the side shields are off. So you have to pop those in. The uh, head was already attached to the device. You just have to mount it on the uh, slide. One of the reasons I like this printer better than some of the other ones, maybe, is that, is that the bed moved instead of the head moving. That seems to be more, seems to me to be more accurate than having the head move up and down because you'd have to have two supports for it, so that's more, that seems trickier to me. It's so this would be back and forth and side to side. So we have to mount the head. Oh, there's the uh, touch screen. There's the other shield. You have to mount the head and follow all the instructions and get it going, so. All right, there's one thing I missed getting out of the box. It's the all important extruder mounting screws. <laughs> Without those, you can't really mount it. Uh, the instructions are really clear. It tells you how to uh, take everything carefully out of the box. That's good. How to move the move. You have to move the um, printing bed up and down, a couple to, uh, up and then down. Get everything out, and then it's got all the nice diagrams of how to screw everything together. So I'm not going to show that because it's kind of tedious. So I'll just I will show you how it lays in there though. So the print head just lays on top of this carriage right here. And it's got some registration, a little bit of registration to it. And uh, just put the bolts in, attach the fan on the side. The side fan apparently is important for cooling material right as it's deposited so, so it actually doesn't just keep melting I guess. So there's a fan on the front and a fan on the side. Right, I got the print head on. Now I've got to attach the fan, and it's going to be a lot easier to attach it from the side. So I laid it on its left side so the door would pop open. I tried putting it on its uh, back, but then the print head slid toward the back of the machine. I could have, I could have grabbed it, but this seems like the easiest at this point. So I'll just do it this way. I got the back screw in. Now I need to put this baffle in. So if you look in there down here, there's a little. Exit uh, 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 output for the fan, so you need to put this baffle in here and then attach that screw, the front set screw, on top of top of the baffle so they're all in there together. That's not clear from the instructions, but one of the other videos I saw on this printer says that you have to do that. Make sure you do it that way. Normally, when I'm putting these set screws like this, I like to tighten one part way and then put the other one all the way in and then tighten the first one up. But unfortunately, in this case, the baffle covers up the one in the back. So you got to tighten the one in the back all the way and then put the baffle back on and tighten this one. And just make it finger tight. You don't want to over tighten it, as usual. There, I should do it. All right, now we're ready to go on to the next step. All right, one thing I didn't do yet is remove the zip ties. The quick start guide says there's four, but there's actually only three. There's two on this side and one on this side. So I need to do that. 
These zip ties are really wide, so I'm using my um, tin snips to make short work of them. Just like that. All right, now it's time to load the filament. I'm going to start with the white filament so I can save the blue for when I want to do any cow things. And remember, go bears. Anyway, it came in vacuum, for, vacuum sealed with some desiccant, and each reel came with um, the uh, axle that goes for it. There are other Dreamer printer, I'm not sure what the name I think it's just called the Dreamer. It can actually do two filaments, so they have a place to mount the uh, filament um, holder on the right side, but the standard one is on the left side. Now this particular filament holder, from what I've read, can only handle smaller... It can't handle a one kilogram reel. The ones that come with it are half a kilogram. But there is a project on Think, Thinkverse that uh, is a holder that will fit any, any size up to, uh, reel up to one kilogram. So at some point, pretty soon, I'm going to print one of those out. And um, so I can use that for any size reel that I get in the future. All right, so the filament's got to feed from the bottom up. You don't want it coming over the top of the reel. You want it coming from the bottom. And it's not hard to see because the guide tube is white and so is the filament. But go down the guide tube. It's up at the top here, and you're supposed to put it in the put it in the uh, feeder, and you push the button, and that lets you feed it in. All right, time to power it up. Plug is on the right side with the on-off switch. Here's where the USB port and the SD card goes in. All right, let's power it up. There we go. Flash Force 3D printer. Nice cool light comes on inside. Alright, the first thing is make sure language should be English. Yeah, okay. Now it's time to level the bed. So, put it reset to the back left right corner, and the I mean, and the bit, bed is moving up. Fancy piece of paper. Slip it in there. There should be some resistance. It won't go in, so we need to lower the bed a little bit. Huh, I'm going a lot. That doesn't seem to be going under it. All right, maxed it out. That's not good. Oh, I need to tighten it to move it down. Okay. That's the problem. 
There we go. So the spring pulls it down. I got it now. All right, there's some resistance there, so we'll get next. You turn it the wrong way again. Okay, now it's moving back up. There's some friction there, okay. Next. The gap in the back was big, so. Level adjustment finished. All right, that's okay, but I think I'm gonna try um, printing out a, a leveling pattern that I saw in one of the videos I watched to see if it's really level or not. All right, I played with the leveling a little bit, a little bit more, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a leveling print at some point. But anyway, I also installed the side shields, which it didn't. I think that was in the quick start guide. Maybe it was. Top goes on, you have to push it down a little bit, but then it fits snugly, so that's nice. Now it's time to try to print something using the memory card that came with it. There should be some test prints in there. We could try one of those. <laughs> 